Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Dress Gaming. I'm your host Richard and today we are back with our Zoo Tycoon on Sundays. Um, I don't know if this one will make it up on Sunday either. The last one went up on Monday so maybe we'll make it Zoo Tycoon Mondays. I don't know. But I'm glad to be back recording. I was gone for the weekend. Uh, been missing recording for you guys so we're back with Zoo Tycoon. What better way to start it off? Uh, last time we did complete two scenarios. So this time, let's complete two, try and complete two more. I don't know, we'll see how long they take, I guess. Uh, but we did small zoo and seaside zoo, so now we're gonna do forest zoo. Let's see what it has for us. A conver conservation group has purchased a small plot of land in a wooded area outside the city of Munich, Germany. Their goal is to create a small zoo that can be used as a haven for animals from zoos around the world when they are no longer wanted. You will not be able to adopt any animals in this scenario. They will all be donated to you from other zoos. The first shipment of animals has arrived and will be found in their shipping crates near the front gate. The animals won't leave these crates until they are placed in valid exhibits. When the first batch of animals are in a suitable ex when the first batch of animals are in suitable exhibits, another shipment will arrive. In the meantime, attract guests by purchasing buildings where guests can fill, fill, fulfill their needs and where they can have fun. Remember, if you need extra cash, you can always sell the trees inside the zoo by clicking the Clear Objects tab, moving the bulldozer-shaped cursor to a tree, and then clicking it. To sell multiple items, draw a box with a bulldozer-shaped cursor. All the zoo objects inside the box will be deleted when you release the mouse button. We have 12 months instead of 6 this time to complete, so it's going to be a long-ass one. Uh, of course, I'll cut out all the nonsense. Uh, but we have to earn an exhibit suitability rating of at least 70 for 6 exhibits, achieve an animal average happiness rating of 85, and achieve a zoo rating of 60. So let's get started here. Whoa. Okay. Let's see who we got waiting for us. A black rhino, a Bengal tiger, and a grizzly bear. Um, so we got a nice little layout going on. Let's... Let us... Get started. Oh, there are you roaring. You guys gotta stay in your crates. So we got a rhino, a bango, and a, and a grizzly. Start, oops, I already forgot how to do this. Let's start with the rhino. Make a nice little exhibit for him. Alright, so we got black rhino. Let's move the door over here. Let's make a pathway that goes all the way around. So you got a, got a nice 360 view of the exhibit here. And then to start off, let's just put all savanna grass since black rhinos are from Africa and are, uh, live on the savannas. Alright, shut up, you darn grizzly bear. He is not happy. Um, alright, since we only have one, we just need to buy a small concrete shelter. Let's actually put that right here. That, that bear, he is, he's mad as the dickens. Um, let's see. I'm trying to look for a good one that looked look nice next to the building. Yellow fever tree? Or next to his shelter, I guess. And then, kind of a shady tree, like this, for the middle of exhibit. We're going to try and build as much exhibit as we can before he gets in there. See how our our uh, exhibit making skills are, are going here. Let's do that. Let's put some dirt in there, because I'm sure he's going to want some. Get a little more artistic with this here dirt. And Black Rhino. Come on, little buddy. He's pretty happy for being in a crate. Alright. Let's see here. 78 suitability, happiness 85. We didn't do too bad. Needs more foliage, too much dirt, not enough fresh water. Well, it looks like you're going to have some patchy fresh water, my friend. Because, uh, we were trying to be too artistic, I guess. Oh, too much. Undo that. Then we just need 
some foliage, so we did not do too bad with this right now. Nope, too much. There we go. Animal number one, ready to go. Alright, now we got a Bengal and, uh, and a Grizzly. Let's put the Bengal right here next to the Rhino. Nice iron bars so people can stick their arms through there and get them eaten off. Bengal Tiger. There's a 360 view. Bengal tigers live in the rainforest, so let's give them some nice rainforest floor here. Uh, fresh water. Because uh, tigers like swimming. Um, let's see, let's see. They need a shelter. Let's do the same we did with the rhino and put it right here. Right next to the door. And we'll give him some rainforest trees down here. We're going to look for Asia trees. So, f giant ficus tree, but nice next to the water, I think. Some foxtail palm trees. Give him a little cover here. Maybe a mangrove or two. Oh, they can't be in the water. That's a bunch of crap. And a rainforest rock or something, huh? South America, the world, the world, the world, South America, there we go. Malaysia area. Alright, let's see how he likes it. Not too bad. Not enough grass, too much rainforest, needs more foliage, not enough dirt, too much fresh water. So, I mean, not as good as the rhino, but uh, these big cats are a little pickier too, in terms of... Uh, what they want with their exhibits. So we just need grass and more foliage it looks like. Grass, grass. Um, grass. Now we just need foliage. So let's go for some smaller stuff. Some flowers. I think these are actually the flowers that uh, that a Vila plume and a Venusaur are based off of. Uh, let's find out if we can. Can we not? Uh, I guess we can't look up the foliage. But I think that's what they are based off of. So a little Pokemon tie-in, I guess, for you on this channel. Um, again, I know this isn't probably going to be the most well-received video of the channel. It didn't do too bad, the first one. Oh, Black Rhino. Oh, do we not have zookeepers? What the hell kind of zoo are we running? Didn't give me any zookeepers. Alright, there's two of them. And I assume we don't have any maintenance keepers either to take out the trash and clean, fix our fences. Jesus. Alright. Well, uh, anyway, what I was trying to say is... I know this won't be the most well-received video. Uh, our first one didn't do too bad, actually. It kind of got the, around the same that our red version Let's Play is getting. Um, of course, the first episode of the Red Version Let's Play is actually getting the most, not the most of the channel, because uh, we do have that TCG opening that's doing the best right now. But, you know, uh, people at least watched it. I don't know how what, well they liked it. It didn't get any thumbs down, so I guess that's a plus. Um, but yeah, we're just going to keep doing this, uh, depending on... How well this does? Maybe I'll. Oh, it just it just rotates automatically. You don't have to hold in. It flips around. But uh, depending on how well this does, what am I trying to say here? Maybe we'll do Zoo Tycoon 2 after this. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll just be stubborn enough that even if this series starts getting zero views. We can. I'll still do it, <laughs> just because. I mean, I want to get through. I haven't finished all the scenarios in these games, and I'd like to do that at some point in my life. So I guess this is kind of a way to do that. I don't know. Um, let's get the bear in there actually, before it's ready for him. 
Because I know the bear's really weird with uh, what kind of floor it likes. So we might as well um, just throw them in there before it's even ready for them. Uh, do we have caves? No, just just wood structures. All right, well let's put his wood structure structure right behind, right in the back there. Sure, he's gonna want trees, cause you know bears like forests and stuff. Um, fir tree maybe? North America. He likes it. He likes it. He likes it. Let's give him a lot of those so he can go hide so nobody can see him. And then everybody will be happy they paid to come see animals. That's one thing I've got to tell you guys. So I have I have worked in I've worked in zoo just like guest services. Nothing nothing major. I mean, yeah, zoos need guest service people, but I wasn't sticking my hand in any lion's mouths or anything. But what I'm what I'm trying to make with a point here. Holy crap! Really? Do you need more still? Prefers an exhibit with more cliffs and hills, coniferous, freshwater, grass. Come on, next. More rocks, okay. Okay, we're, we're better now. But, um, when you go to a zoo, uh, you can't just expect animals to show up, okay? Uh, here, here's what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to tell you right now. Uh, say you go to a zoo. Polar bear, polar bear's not out, huh? Well, um... Animals are ready for adoption. Going and complaining to pe uh, the people that work at the zoo, it's going to do nothing for you. The animals aren't on a schedule. They don't just be like, hey, uh, guess people are here to see me. Better get outside and do my thing. No. they Animals are doing what they want to do. So just get over it. We're going to have to get rid of this foliage. They... They're a living, living creature that isn't on a schedule. You can't guarantee that just because you came and paid for, uh, paid for, I forget what I'm trying to do because I'm trying to like fix this exhibit for this grizzly bear. Oops. Paid for admission that that animals are going to be like, hey, guess what? It's time to get to work. No. They they want to nap. They're going to nap. So how's it going to work, kids? So just get over that. Just get that through your selfish skull. Um... Just keep going back throughout the day. Like, when I go to a zoo, I plan to be there all day. I don't plan to go there for an hour, see everything, and then leave. Because that's just not how it's going to work, if you want to see everything. You can, like, zip through there and be like, Hey, I went through the entire zoo in an hour. Doesn't mean you saw the animals. And if you do, if you do spend that extra time to be there, uh, to make sure you're seeing everything... You're going to see things you wouldn't normally see. Like, the animals are going to do different things. And and it'll be awesome. Anyway, uh, enough of that rant. So now we got a saltwater croc, two zebras, and a clouded leopard. Um, let's see here. I kind of want to keep them in a general, uh, this is where they live kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the zebras next to the rhino. So, remove the pine tree. We're going to move the croc out of the way. I think. Yeah, we don't really need to, but he's already moved, so what are you going to do? He is not happy either. Alright, so we're just going to pull the fence right up to the wall so that no, we don't have to pay for that fencing. kind of saves on money. And a zebra... Uh, field. Field, if I can spell field right. It's one of those words that I can't remember how to spell. Alright, so we're... That stupid tree. 
Where do we put the door? We put it right there, so let's kind of make it easy for the zookeepers to put it right there. Since we only have two of them and we have, uh, how many different species now? Six? Six species of animals, so three, three species per keeper. Not bad, not bad. Do that, and let's move the zebras in. See what they think. <laughs> All right, so exciting! I know more animals. Well, it's all they gave me, so so figure it out, kids. Not enough shelter, not enough water. More rocks, more foliage. It looks like they might want dirt later in life or something. I don't know. I don't know. I ain't a zebra. Oh, too much. Um. More foliage, more rocks, more shelter. So it looks like we're done with the ground at least, hopefully. I mean they can always they can always turn around and say, hey, where's our dirt? But what are you gonna do about it? Oh, the trees are disappearing. Mm, let's get some Oh, too much. Those zebras, huh? More animals, more rocks. Let's just give them a big old termite mound, shall we? Oh, come on. Termite mound. Hooray, zebras are happy. The croc's gonna be an easy one. Well, actually, let's just put the croc in since we're over here. Um, saltwater crocs kinda are the more uh, wide ranged reptiles, I guess you could say. Because they're in the, the salt water, I guess. That's what I'm trying to get at. But... I mean... I guess they're more of an Australian kind of thing. But... Africa has crocodiles, right? So let's put them next to the zebras. The zebras. Let's give him a little space so he's not right up against them. We'll pull, put a nice little low rock wall so he can uh, bite people's hands off. Let me tell you, Zoo Tycoon doesn't care about safety. Um, in normal zoos, we have we'd have people dying all the time if this is how it works. Look at that guy. Yeah, he's he is not happy. He's like, where's my water? Damn it. Um, we gotta give you a little dirt first, buddy. Especially since... You better stay there, too, because... If you start moving around, I'll have problems making salt water for you. So let's start by what's right next to you. Oops, that is dirt. Sorry about that. Salt water. Salt water. We are in the hole. That's great. So undo that. I'm sorry. I'm in the hole. Um, can we at least put some dirt in there for him so he's not too mad at us? Come on, work. Work! What's going on here? What's going on? It won't let me... Oh, there we go. I think I remember this game being a little glitchy like that. Alright, so we gotta go deforest over here and... So our animals can have some freaking salt water. That's another thing that I liked that they changed about the new oh about the new game is that you don't have to pay for the uh, terrain like you do in this one. Um, yeah, like the rainforest floor or the water you don't have to pay for in Zoo Tycoon 2, which makes it a lot easier. Especially since the animals are a little needy in this one. They, like, they won't tell you. Like, you can just put, just put a, like with the rhino, you could just put savanna grass and it'll be fine. Like, you can, there's an option where you can mix in dirt and stuff with it and it looks cooler. But it doesn't need to be. They'll just accept savanna grass. And like, there's water troughs and stuff. So you don't, so the non-aquatic non-aquatic animals don't need uh like ponds. 
I mean, you can put them in there by all means, but it's not needed if they're if they're non-aquatic. Like the tiger ones have needed water and the bear and stuff. But I always like putting water in with animals that uh come on usually usually want it. So there's some money. We still have a clouded leopard to make an exhibit for, so hooray. Maybe we'll get a grant or something at some point, hopefully. I mean, we should get our uh, $10,000 bailout or whatever it is. When we get too low on money. But we got quite a bit now, so... So we should be able to at least make a halfway decent exhibit for the other guy. Not enough dirt, too much salt water, more animals, foliage, rocks. Glad I spent all that water and uh, all that money in salt water for you, and you don't want it now. Let's see here: more animals, more foliage, more rocks. Sweet. So come on, rock. Oh no, he doesn't want that many rocks. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's give him some reeds. Some water plants for him. And uh, are you happy enough? Good deal. Um, happiness of 55, huh? Hopefully that goes up a little bit. So clouded leopard, shall we? Alright. Got a nice patch over here where we can put them next to the tiger since they both live in Asia. Works out pretty well. Let's put another fence where people can grab them and get bitten. Let's give them, let's give them a nice amount of space. I think clouded leopards aren't too picky like the other cats in this game. The le the African leopard, worst, worst animal to get in this game. If you want... A good... I spelt it wrong. I spelt it as cloud instead of clouded. Oh well. If you want a high animal happiness, don't get the leopard. Congratulations! Oh, we got a baby zebra. That's nice. For some reason, I'm going to go over here and put some pathway in instead of take care of my leopard. Waste some more money, you know. Yeah, now. It's the usual stuff. How much are we charging? None dollars? That's why we're not getting them. Oh, wait, that's for fundraising. <laughs> None dollars. We're charging $22, so that's too much. Uh, we won't get as many people as we could. Uh, let's drop it to 15 since uh, people in computer world really don't care how much they're paying per animal, I guess. Whereas in, if we were in real life right now, and I was charging 15 bucks just to cut them to see six species, people would be pissed. Pissed off. Um, let's see here. Cloudy, come here. Come here, buddy. We aren't quite ready to put you in, because, uh, we don't want you starting off mad. It'll bring down our... Bring down our old, uh, rating, you know? Why is there a maintenance keeper in here? Get out. You don't belong here. Alright, let's get a deer injury. Rainforest? Uh, no, South... All South America. Let's get a bunch of ficus... No, come on. Do it right. Ficus trees. That was pretty, huh? I'm sure we'll want more, but whatever. Let's get them in here. Come on. And you need to be put in a suitable exhibit. You are. Come on. Figure it out. Uh, needs more foliage, not enough grass, too much rainforest. We'd be happy with more rocks. We'd like to have toys. Toys! You think I got that kind of money, little cloud leopard? I don't. Oh, our rhino's ill. Great. Um, needs more foliage, we'd like to have a mate, not enough grass, too much rainforest, be happy with more rocks. How's that? Is that better for you? Not enough grass still. Jeez, you should have told me before I took all the grass out of here. 
Um, more rocks, fun, and foliage. So, let's finalize that. Yeah, emergency funds! So, uh, you gotta hold out for, folks. Sometimes you just gotta use all your money and hope somebody bails you out. It's my motto in life, really. Alright, so rocks and fun. And then we should be set with old Cloudy here. Do we have a name for an animal finally? I haven't named animals for a while in this game. Well, did. Wait, was he just mad? He was. You idiot. Alright, some fun and would like a toy. Well, let's see what we got for toys for you. We got orangutan, small lion rock, small chimpanzee. Well, we don't have any toys, so suck it up, Cloudy. Suitability of 79? Like, could we just get them to 80? Would that be possible? Do you want more foliage? Would that help? Oh, too much foliage. Get rid of that. And let's... come on. 82, okay. I mean, he's still not happy, but hopefully it's happy enough. Where are things working out for us? Alright, we got all of our animals in. Set to go. Let's just check and see what we got going on here. We got a suitability of 70 for 6. Animal happiness of 85. A zoo rating of 60. We should be set for the uh, the rest of the duration here. Uh, we got our bailout. We got animals running around. We got a baby zebra. Oh, we got a name our clouded leopard. Where is he? Or she. Come here. Come here, little kitty. Little kitty cat. It is a male. So, what's name? Let's. Let's use adult words. Let's name him a cloudy. There are lots of hungry guests. Okay, well, I guess we're not set to go. Especially since our cloudy leopard lost a little happiness. We need some buildings for our hungry guests. So, let's get. A burger joint here with a drink stand next to it. That should be nice, huh? I like that. Let's put a few more. There are lots of guests. That's what I figured, actually. That's what I was gonna do. Let's purchase a family restroom, shall we? Um, now are we good? Let's put a few picnic benches, just to be sure, behind the buildings, because we don't want them to be seen by the public. Do that. Cloudy is not happy, that little fucker. Well, I can't do much else for you, Cloudy. I don't know what you want from me, buddy. Buddy old pal. What do you want? I don't have a mate or toys for you. I can't. Ugh. Ugh, Cloudy. Stop being a little candy ass. Get your get out here. Maybe it... do you want another rock? You want a rock? Huh? You want a rock? Yeah. You like rocks? You like rocks? You like rocks, Cloudy? Oh, too you know. Too many rocks. Did you not like this big rock? No, you did like that big rock. Maybe, um, I'm getting, I'm getting desperate here, folks. Well, Cloudy's not happy. Some more grass? That's what you wanted? Oh, undo that one. You didn't like that much grass. We're at suitability of 85, and he's still not happy. Cloudy, I even named you. You ungrateful little bastard. Rainforest fern, maybe? You like that? No, you don't like that? And you have one of the biggest exhibits in our zoo, and you're just a little clouded leopard. You, sir, are a pain in my rear. How about this? Is that, oh, I don't, sorry, I didn't like the placement, Cloudy. Calm down. Like, I've got a lion rock. Do you want a lion rock? Are you, like, a lion, kind of? No. You don't like orangutan stuff, I'm sure. Cloudy. Cloudy, you get out here. I mean, we still have an anim anim average animal happiness of 85, so... 
I guess there's just not much you can do with Cloudy. He's just going to complain, I guess. Everybody else is fine. Um, Rhino, Baby Zebra, Croc, Grizzly. I don't think much else is going to be happening, folks. So we'll be right back with Zoo Tycoon. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are just about to wrap up here. As you can see, Cloudy is not happy. He's mad as shit. But... Our plain zebra 2 did have another baby, so we got four little zebras running around over here. Just making sure they're all still good. I did have to hire another zookeeper because this rhino was shitting everywhere. Sorry for the language. Um, not sorry though. Hashtag not sorry. I just did the hashtag sign with my hands and you guys can't see me, so that's cool. I'm a cool kid. Alright, anyway. Um, so yeah. Cloudy's somewhere in here being being annoying as per usual, not not liking his exhibit. And then I th think our tiger's still around. I didn't see anything die. Yep, he's he's back there. Cloudy's not happy, so he's still alive. There he is. And Georgie Porgy, you're male, but I'm still gonna call you Georgie Porgy. We got a name for a Grizzly in the last last month of the game. Porgy. Yeah, it looks close enough. Georgie Porgy. Alright. So we are in the last month. Let's just make sure everything's still good. And we are. All set and ready to go. And it's only the 8th. Look at all these people here. There's too many of them. Let's, uh, let's bump up the price to 17 bucks. See if we can get some people out of here. We made, we've made a ton of money, though. Look at that. We're up to 20000 Don't need no bailouts anymore. Sold all of our trees. And we're set, ready to just rock out. I think we'll do one more scenario here. These beginner ones usually go pretty fast. Um, it's really just waiting that takes. Oh, excuse me. The waiting that takes a while on some of these. But what are you gonna do? Um, twelve. I shouldn't have brought you guys back this early. I. Uh, I uh, don't know what to tell you guys. There's owls flying around and stuff. Maybe we'll see Santa. Because uh, there is... Uh, what's it called? There is like special things that come through every once in a while. Um, actually, we... Because you can buy special things too. Uh, it's September. They have a plane fly through. Uh... A Microsoft plane that's carrying the blue fang sign uh, because that's like their birthday or something or when they're when they're made so birthday same thing but uh, so that's in September I don't remember the date but it flew through um, then in, on Halloween October 31st they have a witch that flies over and you're able to buy pumpkins I think is the only thing you can buy you buy jack-o-lanterns for exhibits and uh, for uh, looks and then in, just in the headphone there, in December, on December 28th or whatever Christmas is, 23rd, 23rd, it's Christmas Eve, it might be 24th, 25th, I don't know. As you can tell, I am good with days. Uh, but yeah, whenever Christmas is, Santa Claus flies over, uh, flies over the, the, uh, the, the zoo. And um, and then like rain. If you have reindeer that are on ex exhibit, they uh, they fly, like they jump up in the air and fly around for a little bit, and then they go back to the ground. Uh, you can buy Christmas trees and you can buy snowmen, I believe it is. So we're gonna try and do some of that just for, just for fun. All right, it's gonna be pretty soon here. Cloudy is not happy. Well, Cloudy, I frankly don't care. I think it shows up in here, so... 22nd... And then snowmen... I don't know where snowmen show up... Oh, another thing! Signs, exhibit signs! I for actually forgot they were in this game, because they don't have them in Zoo Tycoon 2, and it really bothers me! Because I just want to put up exhibit signs, so my fake guess, no fake information... Well, it's not fake information, it's real information. But it's... not actually there. I guess is what I'm trying to get to. Trying to get at, if you will. 
24th, come on. 25th. Where's my where's my Christmas trees and my snowman? What the heck? Does it not do Oh, there it is. Come back. Christmas tree. Shit. We were too slow. We should have paused it. Well, you kind of saw the Christmas tree. There's Santa. Santa. Stop and give me a present. I like how he's not using the reindeer cuz the reindeer don't look like that. Those are actual just like deer or maybe even the gazelle. I think that's the gazelle and it just kind of looks like they put little antlers on him. Yeah, it looks like the gazelle. They just took the stripe off of him. Santa, you didn't even stop. This is a zoo for underprivileged animals. You son of a... Alright, well. We only have a few days left. Hopefully we win. Uh, let's check on our trophies, so our scenario points. So yeah, we got everything checked, ready to go. This is the 30th of December. I gotta do the knuckle chart quick. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. December does have 31 days, I should have known that. Because December 31st is New Year's Eve. And look, speaking of, we should be done soon. Cloudy's still not happy. Don't care, don't have to deal with you anymore, Cloudy. And yes, we got it. Alright. So let's hit no, go back to our main menu, um, check check the time, we should be fine. Oh, the holiday tree one, great, 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 great. Alright, so uh, let's read up here. An enterprising young entrepreneur, enterprising young entrepreneur, has opened a holiday tree farm near your home. He has heard of your initial success in creating zoos. He hopes that a few exhibits with appropriate animals will serve as a draw for customers to his holiday tree farm. You have been given an expan expanse, expanse, an expanse, okay, of hilly coniferous land, covered with many pine. God, I'm s terrible at reading. He asks that you build exhibits for moose, Arctic wolves, and grizzly bears. Arctic wolves are the worst. Um, he also alludes that if you are able to build. An exhibit for reindeer, they're an extra incentive for you. Months to complete, 12 again, so we get to that long old waiting period. We also have to, in that time period, we have to achieve a zoo rating of 70, achieve an animal, average animal happiness of a rating of 90, earn an exhibit suitability rating of at least 80 for one moose exhibits, I guess multiple for one, Earn an exhi exhibit suitability rating of at least 80 for one Arctic wolf exhibits, and earn an exhibit suitability rating of at least 80 for one grizzly bear exhibits. So, let us get started, shall we? For some reason, I thought we had to have a reindeer in one, in this, one of these exhibits. Why are we so far zoomed up? Zoom in. Alright. Alright, so we got a nice little little map here got a bunch of trees with a Christmas tree it's cool it's cool stuff um oh I know why I have re I've had reindeer here in the past is because those wolves are so freaking picky that uh, sometimes you have to put extra animals in just to balance out how mad they are to make it an average of 90 so oh we got everything up in here we got Elephant, baboon, zebra, rhino, gazelle, wildebeest, giraffe, African buffalo, hippopotamus, African lion, cheetah, leopard, wild dog, hyena, flamingo, ostrich, um, war warthog, black buck, kangaroo, wild horse, giant ground sloth, uh, mock, mock, not na. I don't know. Uh, bison, black bear, moose, great uh, Mexican gray wolf. Yep. Uh, Styracosaurus. We're learning how to say words, I guess, here. Japanese Ciro, Iguanodon, uh, Palladiosaurus, a Siberian tiger, which is now known as a moor tiger. Uh, grizzly bear, gray wolf, uh, Lambiosaurus, Camptosaurus, Stegosaurus, Bigfoot, Gallimimus, Mandrill, Chimpanzee, Bongo, Asian Elephant, Orangutan, uh, Rhinos, Draven, Rhinos, Bengal, Tiger, Cloudy Leopard, Komodo Dragon, Malaysian Taper, Codipter, Ix, something, I don't know, Jaguar, 
giant anteater, uh, Hirurosaurus, uh, Allosaurus, Markhor, uh, Asian black bear, llama, cougar, ibex, American bighorn sheep, saber tooth tiger, magnet the polar bear, uh, and then just normal polar bear. They have like some special, some famous polar bear from a zoo. Never heard of them, but whatever. Reindeer, Arctic wolf, Yeti, Emperor penguin, giant tortoise, a rhinoceros, woolly rhinoceros, Gems book, Dromodary camel, saltwater croc, Loch Ness monster, um, California sea lion, hammerhead, tiger, manta ray, green sea turtle, giant barracuda, whale shark, ca- common swordfish, beluga whale, bowheaded whale. Uh, walrus, elephant seal, manatee, octopus, harbor porpoise, uh, sea otter, electric, not electric eel, green moray eel, uh, swordfish, uh, blue tuna, yep, bluefin tuna, orca, bottlenose dolphin, sperm whale, lines, mane, jellyfish, and giant squid. So it looks like we have the whole roster at our um, disposal. But we only need moose. Arctic Wolf and Grizzly. So, um, we're actually going to start with the Arctic Wolf, the most terrible of animals. Um, and yeah, we got everything at our disposal here, so we can really do what we want. Uh, let's purchase Chain Link Fence just to kind of save us some money. Money. Uh, we're going to start our fence here. Because these wolves like a nice big exhibit, so we're going to try and do what we can for them. To just try and avoid having to build extra exhibits. So, Arctic Wolf. Uh, apparently, the door's going to be over there, but we don't want it over there. So, let's bring it here. Let us... For those of you who didn't know, uh, the... Conjunction, is that the word? Conjunction word? I'm trying to teach you about grammar, and I don't even know the freaking terminology. I think it's conjunction word. Words that have uh, apostrophe in them, like, uh, they'll is they will. Um, let's is actually let us. So, you want to be proper young English speakers, you can say let us instead of let's. Um, see? So while you come and watch these videos, you'll learn a thing or two about grammar. So, let's put in some snow here. Snow it up. I need to get a mouse or something. And make... Oh, jeez. Are you kidding me? If I were to put snow in this entire thing, we'd run out of money. That's cool. We can't even build one exhibit, right? Alright, well, let's start by... Stop this. Let's sell these guys trees. It was nice enough to let us come in and build exhibits for him, just to, for a ne- little extra money, and we're just going to sell all of his, all of his m- money making. Sell all the trees. Sell them all. Sell all the trees. All right, we got all that. We'll leave like the actual stuff as long as we can, but. Let me tell you, if if we run low on money, I won't think twice about selling his at the uh, the little Christmas trees he's trying to sell up in here. Don't put it past me, bruh. What if that happened in real life? Like somebody's like, "Hey, I got this this a uh, Christmas tree farm over here, and I just want you to come in, bring a little some some wintry animals and." Uh, Make a nice little zoo on my property, and hopefully I'll bring in the children, and they'll buy a Christmas tree. You know, like, sure, sure, I'll do that for you. I'll be fine. Apparently we're, uh, what's his face? Um, forget the guy's name. He plays the genie on Fairly Odd Parents, fairly commonly known, uh, comedian. Does a uh, Burt Reynolds on a uh, what's it called? S on Celebrity Jeopardy of SNL. Um, can't remember his name, but we were just doing an impersonation of him apparently, and uh, glad I brought you in that little journey of my mind. 
maybe we'll throw it up in the in post, shall we? All right, so it doesn't look like we have everything because there's usually a cave and a snowy cave. I don't know if that's later on down the line or something, but uh, let's just give him a little house right here. Let's uh, get some snowy rocks for him. I know they're going to want a bunch of graystone and crap, but whatever. Boing! I forgot about that. You try and place something on top of something else will make a doingy noise. Well, let's just do a bunch of females. So they can't breed. And that's a perfect amount, apparently. So there's not enough graystone. We'll be happy with more rocks, not enough fresh water, not enough shelters. Alright, let's see here. Let's give him another shelter. So we all need... Let me stop singing our... Singing. Come on. Got a rock for him. Not enough graystone, too much snow, more rocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of give him a little... little hideaway where they can live, you know? Well, they still need more rocks. Let's actually, before we do that, take care of their uh, water needs so we know... So we kind of know what... Uh, come on. Uh, sorry. The cursor wasn't moving for me. So we kind of know what, they, what, the, what the space is. Terrain is the most annoying thing in this game. Paying for it and... Trying to just get it to place is annoying. How's that? How are you liking that, wolves? Happier with more rocks. They're actually not too mad right now, so that's nice. Just gonna fill up their little rock area. Or not their rock area, their exhibit with rocks. Um, and they'd like to have a mate. And right now I don't really want to. I mean, let's sell the female, yes. And actually, here's where the animal animal sales comes in. Buy a male. Look at that. Now they're going to have little babies, and we can sell the babies. Or one of the females or something. Alright, so let's see. Well, we only got one male, sorry. You're going to have to figure it out. Amongst you ladies... Uh, who's gonna be the lucky one? All right, so let's just try, kind of try and pinpoint here. Um, what they're, what they're, what they want from me, you know? Looks like everything's, everything's good. Maybe, okay, okay, okay. Looks like that's good for that. Um, more rocks, maybe? Yeah, they can always use more rocks, I guess. So let's try and get as close as we can to perfect with these wolves, and then we won't have to worry about making them happy. So we got a suitability of 88, and it looks like a happiness of 77 on these wolves. Um, let's see here. Arctic Wolves, at least 80 for the a suitability rating of the exhibit, so that's good. Um, and then we can just kind of get a nice animal average happiness uh, of 90 with either just the grizzly and the, and the moose, or we can uh, bring in more animals to try and balance it out, you see. So, let's go with the rock fence for our grizzly exhibit. Let's bring it here. Use the, uh, because you also have to pay to make mountains, which is a bunch of crap, too. Alright, um, so we're gonna use the, the, uh, the natural, the natural layout of the land here. There's that. Grizzly exhibit. We'll just write grizzly. We'll bring the, uh, the door over here for the keepers. Which reminds me, I need to hire keepers. So, let's hire two of them. You can't find any food because we don't have any for you yet. The keepers are on their way, though. 
So there, bring that down to $15 for entry. And let's start setting up for the Grizzly, shall we? Let's uh, put some deciduous grass. Some con con conifer, conifer. Oh, shite. Already. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, man. Let's just do some fresh water for the Grizz. Give him some there. Then, so we're down to eight thousand dollars, huh? You know what? Said I wouldn't second guess myself. Gotta, gotta uphold. Gotta uphold. So let's sell his crop. Bop. 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 Not only are we selling it all, I mean, it'd be one thing if we sold it all and be like, hey, here's the money for your trees. Nope, we're selling it all and then using it to build exhibits. But I mean, now, oh. Sorry, sir, I sold your Christmas tree. Your big fancy Christmas tree. Um, but now that we got guests coming in, that should kind of help with money. Many. So let's get rid of that. And we'll use that area for a moose exhibit. So there you go. Working out. And we left your map. So at least that's something. And come on. I want coniferous. There we go. Coniferous ground, not your stupid fresh water. Alright, so let's do this. Then let's actually do deciduous for the rest of it so we're not wasting our monies. Bring that down to there. Do this. Bring that down to only doing two at a time so we can do that. Alright, so we'll need a shelter for our grizzly bear. And we will need plenty of plants. Um, let's do the fir tree again. Come on. If I click on something, it should click. But then again, my, uh, my little click pad doesn't always work. So it's not, it's not necessarily the game's fault. It's probably actually my computer's fault. Back to, back to blaming the computer. Alright, that should be plenty. Let's try and get... A rock or two for him. And let us grab a grizzly bear. And let's name him Trouble. After the bear from the Lake Superior Zoo. Yeah, if you guys don't know Trouble, they do have a book of them. Look it up online or go to Lake Superior, Lake Superior Zoo and buy, uh, buy the book. Actually, no, wait, I don't think they have it there anymore because the book's out of print, so you could buy it online. But it's called A Bear Named Trouble. Pretty good book. Tells tells basically the story of his life. There's a few things that are fudge because uh, they don't really know what the bear was doing by itself. So they made a few things up, but it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Like it a lot. Trouble, Trouble's pretty awesome, bear. Uh... Definitely go if you're in the area. Check out Lake Superior Zoo. Um, go see Trouble. He's he's really entertaining. So we need more foliage. We're we'll happy with more rocks. Not enough fresh water. Well, we'll see what we can do about fresh water. But to be honest, let's get rid of the tree so I can see what I'm doing. We don't have much space for fresh water. enough fresh water? Yep, just needs more foliage and rocks. So, let's get some more foliage for you. So, sorry guys. 
focusing on getting all these trees in there. Need some more. So, actually what I was thinking is maybe um, I'll pot, like I'll, I'll cut away and come back when we have enough money to build the moose exhibit, because right now we're not going to be able to build it. I can tell you that much. Need some more rocks. So, we might just do that. Oh, that might just block the zookeeper. Come on, get rid of it. Thank you. Um, Because, yeah, he just came and stood in there. Oh, yeah, we got our emergency funds. Bail out. Bail out. So, yeah, we should, we should be able to make the moose exhibit. So, And then, like, if I have to make extra exhibits, maybe I'll do the cutaway. He's liking that pile of rocks over there, though. Exhibit is well suited for trouble. Look at that happiness. 100. Let's actually see. Uh, achieve a zoo rating of 70. Average animal happiness is 90. So I, either those wolves are super freaking happy or that bear being at 100 brought it up high enough for us. Let's actually check out the wolves. Ooh. They got a happiness of 100? Here what's complaining. And look at them. Just have to build a good enough exhibit for them. Uh, so, let us... I'm going to keep saying let us every time we go to build an exhibit. Build a moose exhibit. Moose aren't too terribly... Too terribly hard to take care of. So, let's just uh, do this. Moose swamp. Swampy. El swampy. And we'll put the door on this side. Um... Bring you down a scope, so it will flat land for you. Let's put fresh water there. Deciduous over the snow. Put oh 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 oh. All right, so we are a little short on funds to build this moose exhibit, so. What should we do about that? Let's start by putting a couple of vending machines in. Kind of bring in some more profit. Already people starting to go to them, so that's, that's a good sign. I'll bring in a little extra profit for us. But, um, until we have enough to actually build the moose exhibit, I'm not going to keep you guys around and have me just sit here and blabber job about nothing, essentially. So, I'll cut away for a little while. If anything happens, probably the only thing that would happen is, like, a wolves have pups. We're going to sell them, or the females. And then that'll give us a little extra money, too, for the, for the moose exhibit. But until we have enough money, I will see you guys in a few seconds. Hello everyone, and welcome back. Uh, we did get a moose while we were out. Um, it was a struggle. We had to go dollar by dollar trying to get this exhibit built. We'd buy a tree, be down to like $2, wait till we had enough money to buy another tree. It was an ordeal. But we did, but it paid off in the end because we have happiness, I almost said level 100, a happiness 100 moose with 181 uh suitability. We got a 97 overall for all of our animals. Uh, wolves didn't have any pups, so that's fine. But if you look here, we got our at, a zoo rating of 70, average animal happiness of 90, 80 for a moose exhibit, 80 for arctic wolf, and 80 for grizzly. So we are all set for the end of this month here. Um, as you can see, we have a ton of money. Uh, we did... Uh, that reminds me. Bat blat. That reminds me. Um, if I can find it here, actually. Let's click on the main. We did get a little bonus of, for quality animal care, which gave us an extra $5,000. And that's how we actually finished off the moose exhibit, was because of that little, that little award. But apparently maintenance doesn't do anything, so I hired another one there. Um, and actually, let's... Uh, this is peak Christmas tree season, and there's no Christmas trees. It's uh, kind of depressing, so let's 
Actually, you just start buying a bunch of Christmas trees to replace the ones that uh, we sold. So people can come buy Christmas trees and have a merry little Christmas, you know? I mean, if you don't celebrate Christmas, I'm sorry. Uh, go out and buy a menorah, I guess. So, let us do this. I'm trying to be all. Oh, I think I got out of line somewhere. Well, that's enough Christmas trees, huh? Let's just buy a bunch. Don't need to be in a row, huh? Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. 13th. Look at that. We saved Christmas, everybody. And there we go. Look at that. It's like nothing ever happened, except we don't have their big fancy Christmas tree. Back when it was okay to do Christmas things in video games, though. Like, have it be a big part of the game. Anyway, our moose is all happy over here in his little swampy. A bunch of trees. We got our grizzly bear running around over here like a fool of a took. And, uh, we got our gray wolves all laying around lounging. But, another Pokemon tie-in here. While we were, I was waiting for December to happen, 17th right now, I was actually breeding uh, pincers, so I'm uh, helping out another PokeTuber by the name of YouTube or YouTube <laughs> U Turn Crobat. Uh, I'm breeding him a Mega Pincer, and I actually bred my first shiny Pokemon that I could use competitively. It doesn't have five IVs, unfortunately. It only has four that are perfect. But it's good enough. It's missing HP and special attack. So that attack and speed is what it really needs. And then defense special defense kind of helps, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's good enough that I'll breed it up to be a... I'll breed it up to be, like, uh, just a normal pincer. Because it is a mold breaker pincer. And that works for, like, a choice band or choice scarf pincer. Uh, as well as Moxie. But I think Mox... Uh, for Mega Pincer, I think the Moxie version of pincer works better. Which I have a Mold Breaker Pincer and a Moxie pincer, pincer already, but it's a shiny one. And it's my first one that I can use competitive, re competitively, really. So, hey, there you go, folks. I this is my s second shiny I've bred ever. I bred a shiny Eevee, but it was junk for IVs. So it's just sitting in the Poke Bank right now. Um, yeah. Yellow swag, I guess. Twenty. Oh, Jesus, 25th. Can we do it? Can we eat a Christmas tree before it runs out? Go, 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 go. There it is, there it is. Get one, get one. Yeah, Christmas. Oh, we got one. Oh, Santa. I can hear sleigh bells. There he is. Santa, look. We got a Christmas tree for you this time. Can you stop now? Throw some presents. Come on. Come on. Well, we don't need them. We don't need them. Because we got everything we needed, folks. So, um, just kind of, I'm just going to kind of wrap up here. Uh, it looks like we've won. I don't think anything's going to happen, uh, by the end of the month here. So... Thanks for stopping out, guys. Uh, be sure to come back next week where we'll take on probably two more of these scenarios. Um, there, we're gonna start. We're gonna be starting to get into the marine uh, scenarios, so that we'll be learning about making aquariums and having uh, aquariums and terrestrial exhibits. So, it, as one exhibit. So, so that's going to be pretty interesting. And there we go. There's the notification saying we won. So there we go. Another successful uh, episode of Zoo Tycoon here. We had a few bailouts, but we made it, folks. So thank you guys for stopping by. Leave a comment down below saying what you thought about this video. Like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And all that YouTube mumbo-jumbo. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.